Okay, so, um, let's see, who is I talking to that's online who's into astrology? She's been doing it for 30 years. Um, I definitely want her to talk to G-Man and get out there and really share this. I mean, old-time astrology. So, I wanted to talk about this for a minute. Because this is how astrology is important. It's just a tiny little bit of it. But I wanted to tell you a tiny little bit of it. That what happens before you come here is, let's say, you come here and you decide you want X experience. And to have X experience, okay, you just tell the universe, you know, the machine that works, the creative thing. You don't even bother to break it down. You just say, I want this kind of experience. Vibrationally, you want this kind of experience. That's your end game there. And then you just hand it to the universe because you can't be bothered with more specifics. And let's say, but somebody else may want specifics. They may want, I want to be born at this town at this time to this kind, in this country that's going to have this kind of experience. You can get as detailed as you want. But on the first one, <clears throat> that's the one I'm going to talk about right now because it's the one that's easiest to explain these things to. So you tell the universe, you tell your general manager, I want this kind of experience. Now, the general manager, the universe, the machine that makes everything match so everybody gets what they want, it looks at what you want vibrationally and it goes, okay, so in order for you to have this kind of in-game experience, then you need to be a white female born in the United States with these kind of personality traits. Okay? This gives you the best case, the best option for being born this time, this place, with this stuff, um, to have this kind of experience. So what happens is all the different planets are have uh, different vibrations that they can exert energy or um, they are like they... They, 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 how do I say this? It's like, you know how the moon um, causes tides? Okay, obviously, the moon is involved with tides. We know this. It's in our thinking self. We know this. Well, all of the other planets, uh, all of them, they have the same kind of, they can exert um, influence on uh, different vibrational frequencies as well as the moon. So that's been broken down over time and it's been explained. So it's kind of like, <clears throat> okay, if you go in and you say, okay, I want to make muffins. Okay, that's a different recipe than if you want to make pumpkin pie, right? So the universe will plop you down and you get the personality traits for good or bad. Let's say you want to be a serial killer and you want to be this kind of serial killer. Well, you may have the same... Um, planetary layout that say me and I want to come in and I want to be a paladin and I want to I want to be a, a police detective murder investigator to stop serial killers okay I may be under the same planetary influence on birth as a serial killer but I can take those vibrations in and use them in one way personality way with my intent before I got here as a creator God and this creator God can take those same energies coming from all those planets into that human body and create a whole different experience. Does that make sense? So that's how it works. That is why um, having your chart read is important so that you can kind of, uh, you don't have to have it, but you can kind of see, okay, this is how these are the energies these are the frequencies and this is the way it plays out in a human body which by the way those energies play out differently for all the different creator creator gods on the planet besides humans other entities use those energies from all those planets um just like you do the difference is that it becomes much more complex than that because there are energy patterns and influences from all the uh, planet, planets in the sky, all the stars, all the planets, all the galaxies, and all of the, um, the other m universes in play. But that is way too much for you to understand or to be able to correlate, but you can kind of get a handle on why 
uh, astrology does work. So you can take that away on your list of judging something. So you say, okay, well, I was born like this, and this is what it says, but I'm not that way at all. Well, these are just energies that are influenced and can help you or hurt you in your position. But it's like if you know what they are, then it's easier to get where you want to go. Yeah. You, you can understand that uh, walking the next six steps is going to be easier and, or harder depending upon whether or not you are walking uh, in a swimming pool at five foot depth or if you're walking on land or if you're walking um, with a giant balloon hooked to your back. Helium balloon. All right. I mean, it is what it is. So you can find out this information, learn from it, use it, understand it, or ignore it altogether. It doesn't really matter. But that's how it does work. And I'm really, really hoping that she will do a video um, going through this astrology stuff in way more detail. Because, uh, well, it's what she spent 30 years of her life doing. So why not share? Why not share? I mean, jump in there. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you've all got. Let's hear the tales. What made you? What happened to you that makes you who you are? And who are you, by the way? Who are you? Let's hear. Let's hear from everybody. Okay? All right. Huge hugs. Love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now.